Hey guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect to this live streamer of economic data and hopefully test a trading algorithm the following week based on the release of this data. If you visit this URL, you'll get this table and I have it set today, but you can change that to weekly. And there's a real-time feed running in the background of this web page. In order to get the same feed, I'm gonna right click on the page and click inspect. And if you click on network and reload the page, we want to get to the WebSocket, which should be this very first one. Now we see that messages are being received and sent. And if we scroll all the way to the top, we're gonna to focus on these three messages having green arrows, since these messages will need to get sent through R to establish a connection and get the feed. But first we need to grab the headers. So here on this tab, we're gonna focus on these headers. And what I did was just copy this information and pasted it into R. So here we see our headers and you wanna have it in the same format. After you have that copied, we're gonna copy our messages. Now for the messages, as I mentioned previously, we're gonna copy these first three and you can just right click on any of them and copy the message. And when you paste it into R, you need to make sure that we don't have opening or closing brackets, only the opening and closing braces. As we're wrapping them in this to JSON function, that will take care of the opening and closing brackets. And you'll also need to get rid of those backslashes so as an example, I'm gonna copy the second one since it's fairly short. When you paste it into R, you need to get rid of the opening and closing brackets. We're gonna add single quotes and we're gonna get rid of these slashes. So once you do that, what's left to do is to get rid of these double quotes. So it should look like this for all three messages. Once we take care of the headers and the messages, we need to establish a connection to the streamer. So you need to copy this address, and I believe that's found in here somewhere. Just copy this URL and paste it into R. And we're also gonna pass in our headers, and we're gonna set auto connect to true. I think it defaults to true anyways, but just make sure that's set to true. Once we set that, we need to establish what happens at every message. So at every message we receive, I'm gonna save that message into a folder in my desktop called macro. Everything inside this paste zero is just formatting it with the proper unique name. So I'm using timestamps. And here we see that we have our date and the timestamp as numeric, just so that each message is unique and doesn't get replaced. Once we set that, we're gonna send our first and second message since that's what happens during our streamer process. So here in the messages, we see that at initiation, we send the first and second message. Once we send that information, we're gonna test whether or not it was able to successfully establish a connection and we're gonna print the ready state. So if it's a one, it means it's connected. If it's a three, it means it's closed. So we wanna make sure that that connection is a one. Once we establish that, we need to make sure that our connection stays alive. So I'm gonna repeatedly send message three in one second intervals. And we see that's going on in the web page. So here we see that it's sending the heartbeats and getting a response. So that's done within fractions of a second until we receive some data. So let's go ahead and run the streamer. So I'm gonna first run up to line 57 and we're gonna click on run. Next, I'm just gonna run this block to keep our connection open. And if we take a look at our folder, we see that the messages are coming in. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and stop the connection. Once we make sure it's working, it's time to format the messages. Within this function, we don't need to pass anything in. It's gonna go ahead and read all the files in the folder I send my messages to. It's gonna list all those files. Once it reads all those files in, it's gonna eliminate all those messages that contain heartbeat. So here we can just double check. We're gonna run line 74 so that you see what it looks like. So we have a bunch of messages with heartbeat similar to the web page. So we wanna skip over those. So we run line 75, we take a look at text. I had to run this initially overnight, so we got one successful message with the value. Essentially, just wanna skip over everything and format this specific message with the value. So we're gonna do a bunch of rejects to get rid of the backslashes, opening brackets, opening braces, and make it more legible. So we're gonna run line 76 all the way to 100. And if we take a look at DF, 
Now it looks much more legible. Now from here, we need to do two things. The first is to match this event ID with the actual report as we don't get that information in the streamer. And the second thing we need to do is we need to fix the previous forecast and actual numbers and convert these to numeric so that we can make a trading decision. Now I haven't gotten to the second step in converting these into numeric, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. My priority was to match this event ID as from this, I am not sure what this report is from. So we need to go ahead and scrape the table from this web page. I did make a tutorial on how to scrape that table for the whole week. So I'll recommend that video at the end of this one. But essentially all I did was just grab the get request from that particular tutorial. So I grabbed this whole thing and created a new function called get econ calendar IDs. So if we open that up, just paste your get request. We're gonna go ahead and read the page in. We're gonna dig through the web page and extract the event IDs, the event release time, and also the report type. You're gonna to wanna to copy this code and return that table. So if we take a look at call IDs, we now get that particular table along with the event ID. Now, if we go to our streamer message, we'll take a look at the event ID. We're gonna copy it, paste it here on this table. And now we see that this was for this particular report. And essentially what I wanna do is focus on the high impact reports. So perhaps next week I'll come up with a paper trading algorithm that will use the streamer and make a decision based off of the report results. What I plan on doing is getting this table, focusing on one of these events with high volatility, grabbing that particular event ID, starting the streamer and waiting for that particular event ID to be released and then comparing the results to the forecasted number. And we're gonna try and send an order using futures since most of these are pre-market and we'll see how that plays out. Well, with that guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.